Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Exogate Initiative. We're waiting on our engineers to be hired. No Gator has the required level to use the workbench. No Gator has the required job to use the workbench. Team, we need to have a talk. Did I put these things backwards? No, they're they're normal. I honestly don't need it. I don't think I need three. Uh-oh, are you guys all broken? Uh oh, did the game break? Oh, whew. Just takes them a while to, to work through the cobwebs in their in their head, figure out where they're going for the day, you know. You know how it is. It's like when you wake up in the morning, you're like, what am I doing today? Alright. Um how many more hours? Ten hours. Okay. We'll we'll get a couple more engineers. Thank you to everybody. Dave and B Noble have provided some good some good additional team squad names no longer food based i don't i didn't even notice that that was happening that i was naming all of my f my teams after food three in a row look at that all right no kidding it's found what that's even an option or oh, oh my god and now and now there's zero. Oh, what a what a disaster all right let's let's how, what if I boost the duration as long as it could possibly be? It's 10 days. We'll go with 4K. All right. Please give me some engineers this time. R rude. I spent $10,000 and they're like, nah, nobody wants to work here. I didn't even know that was an option. All right. Let's see. Where should we send our team to today? We don't. We can't do this guy yet. Because we don't have the engineers. We've already done kind of around the issue. We have this guy here, another ore mission. So let's disconnect this one, hold on. We shall go here, here, and then let's see, do I have enough energy? I doubt I do with only 60 energy. So let's start, this should be our diversified squad. So taco cheese, get on out there. This should be Burger Bravo. J Judith has been had low mental health for like three missions in a row. She she'll get over it, <laughs> or she'll have a mental breakdown and cause the mission to fail. But we're gonna persevere here. The next thing we want to do. Oh, we did talk about this is getting the ops room. Oh, we did. We're researching the ops room right now. So I think the next thing we'll want to do is get basic ore processing going. And then maybe level two generator or maybe level two generator should precede should precede the ore because the ore room takes a crap ton of energy. And if we don't have the energy necessary to run the ore room, what's the point? <laughs> so I think that level two generator should be the next thing. And it's kind of the same thing, even though we researched the ops room already, I think it makes sense to, to, build, or, uh, to build generators before getting the ops room online. We can start setting up where we want to have the ops room. I think I'll just build it like over here do like a six by six and then one door i just want to build it off out of the way because like it doesn't really serve a like nobody goes there you have stuff that serves a purpose to like have reoccurring missions and whatnot but if nobody's like you don't have to access the the ops room there's not really a point in having it like close to your people or close to the gate it's just kind of in the way so putting that off to the side is i think it makes sense and that allows us to expand this this uh, workshop if we need to. Burger Bra- Oh no! We're in trouble! We're, we're cutting our way through thick jungle when we saw something out there in the trees. Exo, something's hunting us. Uh-oh. And it, What is it? We don't have a soldier! That's the thing, we don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I saw a creature, four legs low to the ground, but Mitchell saw a humanoid, and Wright saw some kind of vehicle. They're all hallucinating. Judith, Judith's mental state has has taken its toll. How can that be? Use gun. I guess that they have some sort of selective cloaking device designed to intimidate. Or maybe there really are three of them out there trying to mess with us. 
the best defense and all that get ready to fight run now they don't have a soldier with them they're a, exclusively a science team run you don't have to tell us twice we'll report back when we're safe if we make it godspeed is burger bravo gonna be instantly killed we have to wait 16 hours for the update our med bay is fully empty right now so we're we're ready to deal with that if we need to let's get some more physical treatment Burger Bravo checking in. We were out of the jungle, but I think it's still out there. You tried to outrun it, now hold your ground. Can you escape? I don't think though. so. There's nowhere left to run. Now hold your ground. Not much choice. Get ready, team. Here it comes. Oh, God. Josh, behind you. Behind you. Get down. What's happening? Report. Oh, God. It got Mitchell. What do you mean it got them? Are they dead? A, negat a gator is unconscious. <laughs> Whatever it was got me pretty good. Struggling to breathe, but I think it's gone. What the hell was it? He got brain trauma. Mitchell is unconscious. Okay, please return immediately. Jeez. They were supposed to be on the boring mission. What the hell was that? <laughs> what happened? All right, we need some more, more med beds up in here, huh? Things are getting serious. The patients will face each other. If somebody dies, we can reconfigure and get a... And get a... a cremation pod in there, or whatever it's called. Oh, scientists. Oh, 18 hours. That's right. It took 10 days to hire scientists, or uh, engineers, so... We didn't even get any science from the, the, the monster attacking us. Well... Don't ever go back there. Some require a surgery pod. Okay. Please don't kill anybody. The surgery pod. Do we even have space for the surgery pod? We kind of do. Just like jam it into the, <laughs> into the corner. <laughs> Maybe there's a better way. What if I move you? Like here. And then you go here. And then the surgery pod can go in the middle. Ta-da! Yeah, that works. Cool. Josh Mitchell needs surgery. We will assign... Not Ivy, because she's the one that had the painting where she killed her teammates. The other, Did the other squad make it back just fine? Are they okay? Taco cheese? Seems... Not not a problem. Judith still has mental health problems. And Josh is dying. But we have engineers to hire. We have Nicholas Chevalier, Jacob, Raphael, and Lee Ding. Alright, I'm not hiring Lee just because I don't know how to pronounce their name. <laughs> so let's get these three. These three goobers. Great. All right, time to create new team. Let's diversify the teams here. So pull Josh off this squad. Judith, you come off the team too. And then throw Cecile on this team. And then one of our new engineers, Nicholas. Great. I would like to... I think I want to stick with the, the medic soldier... The medic soldier um scientist squad let's pull simon off this team and then throw jacob on that team and then take carolyn off this team and put our last engineer Raphael, on there so now we can get another scientist squad and this can be like our recurring mission team once we get the ops team uh off the ground yeah let's create team Let's see, we got Frontier, Dave's suggestion was Frontier Dragon, which I enjoy a lot. Can we fit the name is the first question. Nope. What about Front Dragon? <laughs> Front Dragon it is. Is there anything that looks like a dragon? Or like flames? This kind of looks like a dragon. We'll make them green. Front Dragon. Uh, and then we got Yao and Julie. 
and then we'll throw we'll throw Carolyn on there for good good measure. And then we got who who's not on a squad? It's Josh and Simon are not on a squad. So maybe once we get into like we get into the what what do you call it? The scholar? Maybe we can put put together another team. Very good. Josh, good luck to you. I'm going to assign Simon to your your case. Hopefully he doesn't kill you. If he does, <laughs> I'm sorry for for your loss, my loss. All right, disconnect these. We can get let's get ourselves over to the ore planet now. Got a got an artifact out here, which is kind of cool. And then let's go ahead and get this other Oh, there's another ore. Whoops, I got this all mixed up. Reconnect you guys. We got a lot of energy again because we built those new power plants. So let's see here. Create mission. Let's send angel food cake. Create new mission. Taco, cheese, and burger. Bravo, you just got back, but you're the only teams... Oh, uh, yeah, you're the only teams with engineers on them. Burger, Bravo got the crap kicked out of them, so let's send taco cheese. And then let's send out our new squad. Front dragon. To this planet. And then who else is left? We got 275 power. Which means we should go up this way. And go here. Milkshake we could send out. And Bur Burger Bravo I want to give him like a chance to rest. So let's send Milkshake. It's just four teams going into the gate right now. Looks like Taco Cheese is not ready to go, and Front Dragon is not ready quite yet either. A bunch of other people have to get through the gate anyway, so just let it let it stew for a minute. Simon, are you around? Yeah, I was gonna say you got you got a surgery to perform, my man. Josh's er, Josh's brain trauma. All right, we gotta watch this. It's happened twice and I didn't witness it. Oh, he got flipped around. He's being zapped. Blood is flying. No wonder the surgery is going poorly. He's backwards in the chair. His fa it failed. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my medics are the worst. Well, unfortunate. All right. It's too crowded in here. We need to... We need to expand the the. I should have done this like beforehand, just like anticipating my my medics would screw it up. All right, let's build out the med bay as far as we can. What a disaster! Wee -oo, wee -oo. There's a body on the ground. Look where it. Watch out! Watch where you're walking, team. Oh my lord! <laughs> no wonder that went poorly. He was backwards in the chair. You guys don't know how to perform surgery to save your life. Or someone else's life. For that matter. Alright, building out the med bay. Let's expand. Oh, Angel Food is checking in. Is who reporting? The sun looms large overhead here. It's a distant yellow glow and more of a ginormous flaming moon. Ah, yes, the storm of lightning. Surely you don't mind a little rain. Is there anything of value here? Proceed, but keep an eye on the storm. We're, we're well aware of the storm. Oh, front dragon checking in. Oh, they encountered the scarbs. Uh, I'm opening the gate. We're already on our way. I think we can safely say they're a spacefaring civilization. Can you shut them down? They, it didn't work. Get to the gate. The scarbs are coming through the gate. They have their own exogates. Oh, God. Drop everything. We did succeed. Hurry up. Before they follow you in find it they didn't ow i broke my arm get through the gate oh my god it's the comedy of errors yeah don't tell the committee about the scarb well we're on the same page there Cobb. med bay all right expand the bay so i can get a yeah <laughs> yeah i was like dragging himself across the building all right let's see we need the Oh, we don't have enough power for the cremation unit. All right, well, now that front dragon is back, which I think was here, we can disconnect some of this stuff and get some power back. 
These missions are still ongoing. So we'll have to hold off on that. We, yeah, we definitely need to get our hands on the next level of uh, le level of power supply. Reach the ore field, but so did the storm. What's your analysis of the material? I hope you brought your dancing shoes, dodge the flares, and grab that ore. You make it sound so easy. Knock them dead. They failed. We're still there. Sil Silva picked up a light burn. We made them comfortable, though. Come on home. Good job, guys. Were, did they even get injured? Maybe like a slight heal or a HP loss, but not like an actual injury. All right, we need $20,000 and 300 power, but we should be able to close down this gate now. Or uh, this gate? Yeah, because they have to analyze the ore anyway, so we, we shouldn't be able to send a, or we won't be able to send a engineer team in there. Get the, get the cremation unit off the ground. We can't have these bodies just lying around. All willy-nilly. It's bad for morale. All right, throw the cremation thing in the corner here. Taco Cheese checking in. This is Moreau reporting in from PW310. Re reached the edge of a debris field that's massive, stretching all the way to the horizon. Can you go around? What kind of debris? I'm not sure. I think this fell from the sky and exploded on impact, perhaps even from orbit, and got half incinerated on re-entry. The atmosphere on the world is pretty thick, so it might be a crashed ship. There could be valuable resources in the wreckage. Perhaps find out what this thing was first. That's a new one. We haven't discovered this this fallen ship from the stars. Ah, Raphael is being diagnosed. Healing up Lihu. Very good. And we are cremating the body of Josh Mitchell. <laughs> what a what a devastating loss. We're going to move you. Sorry Raphael to move your bed like while you're in it. Hey, good job, science team. I can count on somebody in this building. Eventually, we'll probably expand this out once we get the, the bedrock digging thing, but I think I'll just leave things as they are right now. It's not too bad. Taco Cheese checking in. Moreau checking in from planet PW310. I think we have a good angle on where this debris field came from. It was an orbital shipyard. Sick. We found a good vantage point from which we see more of the wreckage. There's a central station complex and at least several large capital ships. Orders of magnitude bigger than anything humans have ever built. Who built it? Who needs ships when you got an exogate? Who built it? Unknown. The initiative hasn't met them yet, if we ever will. I think it's safe to say the shipyard was destroyed rather than decommissioned. They were a species further up the Kardashev scale than us, that's for sure. What about next steps? There's a huge pile of mangled scrap not far from here. It might be raw resource they used to build the ships. Though from here, it looks more like the spoil tip of some long abandoned mine. Better get over... Th Getting over there will be hazardous. Fire's still burning, but we also detect toxins and have observed periodic explosions. It's remarkable, really, given the age of the crash site. Any directives? Be mindful of the fire, but also the toxins? I feel it... <laughs> Maybe the toxins are, like, important because you can't see them. You could, like, avoid the fire. Are we analyzing that ore sample? We sure are. Great, great, great. Potential in the rocks. We have analyzed the ore sample and we're paid accordingly. Now we need to get the ore manufacturing off the ground. But we need, in order to do so, I would love to get more power going. But in order to get more power, we need more science. So let's send... We got this other planet here, so let's connect there. Oops. Create mission. Front Dragon just got back. Burger Bravo, are you guys ready to go again? Let's find out. Team Affinity is minus one experience. They, they don't like each other? Well, too bad. <laughs> you don't get much of a choice. Five, five. Okay, we're all out of threes now. Artifact destination, I'm aware of those. There's a couple fours, a three for ore, four. All right, we definitely want to start getting our ops room off the ground. So we can go ahead and build the operations room at the very least. Taco Cheese is checking in again. Hold on, Taco Cheese, I gotta finish this door. All right, 
Moreau here. Oh, they lost some health and mental health. Failed the test. We made it to the mountain of scrap. The toxic fumes were tricky to path to find around. At one point, we smelled something bad. By the time we realized it wasn't flatulence, Pura Pereira was engulfed. We managed to open the airways in the field kit, but they'll need some attention when we get back. Understood. That was quick thinking. What do you make of the scrap heap? Take it from the... Uh, there's a huge pile of ore. It must have been kept in some sort of hold, accessible by all the dry docks in the shipyard. It doesn't s indeed contain the metal we've seen everywhere here, a natural ally that's both incredibly ductile and strong, as evidenced by how it survived this fall from grace. How should we obtain a sample? Uh, engineer. We'll get it done, XO. Proceed. They critically succeeded! We got one. We managed to shore up one of the foothills at the base of the heap and retrieved a small piece from there. We can learn more about it back at the workshop. You did good. Thank you, XO. And there's an al almost infinite supply of resource here spread out across the surface. I think we'll be back. First things first, let's get you home. Another injury. Hopefully it doesn't require surgery. But that's probably uh, the maglum. And then the, the other one with the storm was astral for sure. So we've, a we've analyzed the astral, and this is going to be Maglum over here. So it would be great. Incoming invasion! <gasps> Order soldiers back to their assigned guard posts. Lock all doors until after the invasion. This is actually really interesting. Can I just build a normal double door and have it function appropriately? This, this will be very interesting. Oh, designate a safe zone. How about in the training room? <laughs> That's as far away from the game. I could put them in the ops room that hasn't been built yet. Okay. So we will send them there. We will lock all doors until after the invasion. I could just lock it on my own too, which is really interesting. All right, Burger Bravo still hasn't even gone into the gate, so maybe we hold off on that. Oh, never mind. There they go. Maybe not. Poisoning was treated. Great. No, no death today. At least for, <laughs> at least for Carlos. Oh, silly. All right, we need to get. Okay, there they go. I was gonna say we need to get more science, but we also have an incoming invasion, so. Things to think about. Yao, Evelyn, and Cecile. Cecily, right? Yeah, I want to switch her to somebody else who's not assigned. I think Antoine would be the one. Because she's going in. So we have four soldiers. Soldiers, uh, go to your guard post. Oh, they're going. Great. Once all, th all of you are through, I will lock the door behind you. Where is the other soldier? There we go, Carlos. You just got assigned, my man. Or no, wait, that was Antoine. Carlos got unpoisoned. All right, we've locked the door. You are all locked in with the gate. Good luck. Incoming. All right, the first time we're going to see new combat here. Uh, civilians, you should go to your safety zone. Uh, except for Simon. Oh, you can get through. All right, lock this door, too. All right, the gate is open. Danger. Scarb invasion. Scarb drone. Pause. It targets and destroys power generators, destroying any door and sometimes walls blocking its path and defending itself if attacked. So I think there were just two of them. This is the basic guy from the original combat. So they busted their way in. Shoot him. How's the door looking? Wow, they're burning through that door. Good job. All right. It looks like our soldiers fire a lot slower than they used to. Um, which makes sense, because they don't have assault rifles anymore. They just have pistols. So very, very good. Well done. Well done, team. Open open the med bay. They can... Oh, <laughs> I should Maybe I shouldn't have so many doors into in and out of places. <laughs> Scientists will study the corpses of aliens that died while invading the base. This yields alien biotech points, which are required to unlock certain technologies in the tech tree. That's new. Very cool, though. 
I'm kind of thinking delete this door, rebuild a wall there. Dig this wall out. And then delete, sell this door. And then we'll replace it with a double door. And then once we upgrade to blast doors. Nicholas, you got yourself injured. Once we upgrade to blast doors, then we can uh, replace the double door with a, a better door. Excuse me, robot. You can't abandon your duty halfway through. Thank you. It's not what I programmed you for. All right, there we go. All right, let's send out some more teams here. We need more science. We don't have the power. <laughs> Although we can we can disconnect from you. We're we're running on uh, we're running on fumes on, uh, in this Exogate initiative here. We have enough power to connect to one. So let's connect to the level 4 mission. Front Dragon is is the highest level team we have other than milkshake which is a little under leveled overall so i think let's try front dragon give him a shot they have a 20 percent chance for injury all right nicholas has been diagnosed with he's been poisoned too why is everybody getting poisoned up in here oh right We've been getting patents like crazy. I bet we have a bunch of patents to write. Uh, textile for sure. Three, four, five. Uh, we have two at four. Three at four. Okay, maybe maybe we hadn't missed out on too much for patents. But we're very close for, for some other ones. So we should be paying attention. Okay, and we have enough to be able to get the next level of generator no we don't for some reason i thought that was 300 or 200 and not 300 but we're close yeah we have to be a little more careful with our our base layout now because if we leave some of the doors open the scarb might just like path around the gate because i've made a more inter interconnected gate than i had in the past and we got to be careful with where our where we're sending our teams because Without the level two generators, um, we only have like so many places we can connect to and our teams are a little under leveled. So once we get those level two generators, we're going to be really cooking with gas because then we can start doing some reoccurring missions and we'll start to level some of those lower science teams up. Actually, what I might want to do is evaluate our team levels overall. I know our engineers are, are going to kind of be a drag on the teams overall. But we have some better soldiers. And I'm kind of thinking like we should probably consolidate our better squad members into better teams. Three, three, four, four, two, one is pretty low. But this is five, four, one. This the and the engineers are all gonna be low teams. Team members, I should say. Hmm. Uh, maybe we don't move anybody around. It's really just dealing with the engineers being a lower level comparatively could probably make this one work oh these are all dangerous though all right I'll take it back we should probably go after like this guy next i don't think we can get out there yeah this will take a hundred energy and we have zero so we'll have to finish this mission and then pull some energy back we could, honestly, I should expand out the base, even uh, the energy room even further. Just so we can like, we can build some more of the basic power generators and continue to push the energy problem until we get the right amount of science. Base energy is critically low. No kidding. It's interesting that the power, the lights have shut off. Even though the power is still going, I believe. There we go, little robots. Do your job. All right. Expand to the power room. Oh, right. They have to build the floor. I always forget that. 
Doing good. I think I'm happy with the teams we have right now, even though we lost Josh Mitchell along the way. Um, I'm pretty happy with the, the teams we have now and the diversity we have on the team. The teams, but I need to get my hands on just higher level people. Hey, no injuries and some samples brought back. Well done team. Oh man, and they brought back just like raw science, which is great. All right, build even more generators. And now start working on the next level generator. Here we go. And then following that, we can start building more ops rooms. And then we'll also work on the amount of science to get basic ore production off the ground as well. Good. All right, back up to 800 power. Fantastic news. Honestly, I should disconnect you and I should go through this planet. Because then I can connect to these planets a little more efficiently. So let's see, level four, level four, great. We would like to send angel food. They're a little low, or maybe taco cheese would be better. And then we should send, we should send milkshake. Because they're close to level four. You're a level five. Here's another level four. I would like a diversified team for the the event missions, but unfortunately, Burger Bravo is kind of a lower team. Angel Food could do it. Who's doing what? Taco Cheese, Milkshake, Angel Food Cake. Okay. I understand. We're on the cusp of uh, getting our, our recurring missions going, and I think we'll probably make that... Oops. We'll make that... Oops. Into Burger Bravo's kind of deal. I don't even know what planet I accidentally connected to. Burger Bravo will be our, our like recurring training team. And then I'd like to get a second one, honestly. And then, of course, we'll have the engineer teams going as well. So we'll have we'll have the opportunity to have plenty of training squads for people. Lauren Adams gained a level. Good job. How do you? <laughs> I'm sure your parents are as well. 74 science points. All right. And now as these guys are getting going, we'll we'll pause the episode there and we'll pick up right where we left off. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Exegate Initiative or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.